Hey there. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss with you user management feature of PHP My Admin. Let's first log into our control panel. Once you logged in, you will find that this is our dashboard or front page screen. Now in order to manipulate users you have to go to this tab which is users tab click on it and you will be given a users overview where you have existing users some of which are created by installation and the one will be created by you afterwards out of which you can see that host address and your machine address are part of the user root and they have host address as 127.0.0.1 and name of your machine also local host and percentage so any other host is accepted via any other users okay so let's see first how you can add new user click on add user after that username let's type something like mahesh2 after that any host password will be let's say 1234 type 1234 or you can generate after that database for user you don't have to create that for now or create a database with the same name or grant all privileges on wildcard name which is username slash underscore percentage ignore this for a while to that check all should be global user now how many resource should be allocated to this user uh, we'll set this limit so that you will have all the privileges now click on add user now our user is added let's go back and check if it is in the list yes it is it is in our mahesh2 users list all privileges yes okay if you want to edit privileges of any user just click on edit privileges and uncheck all or any specific that you don't want and once you do that you can save or click on go you can also change the password and make sure it is compatible with respect to mysql version for now we'll just cancel it also you can export each and every user by clicking on export link okay so we have this grant all privileges query we can copy it and paste somewhere else and whenever you want to create a new user you will just come back to this database of another machine where we want to have this user and run that script as you can see in this script you don't have password but here you have encrypted password with salt and this part of a query so when you run that the username and password will be added to that localhost which you can do so with the help of import on that machine okay so when you do that it will ask you for that file and just import it and you will have that user listed here okay okay after that we will see some more options let's scroll down and check this part database specific privileges if you want to set some specific privileges to the user with respect to a database you can do so you can add the privilege on the database 
that has a text field enter the name of the database here and click on go when you do that it will be added here so user will be able to uh, modify or make use of that database another thing to check here is changing the login information we can change this sign and make the user available exclusive to particular host or remove him from any other host but only able to log to specific machine also change the password or generate password for him as this is a global user you you can do that for him or and also that person will be able to do that himself you can also create a new user with same privileges and few options for that are listed here so this is pretty much our simple intro on user management inside php my admin i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i will see you later and keep watching the videos bye